Bottom of the fourth inning here in Seattle as Jose Barrios still dealing on the mound. will face three, four, and five here for this Seattle lineup. Bottom of the fourth inning still scoreless as Barrios, he's ready to go, gets the sign and will deliver to Mitch Hanniger who checks swings, but it's over for a strike anyways. Hanniger 0-1 today. And the next pitch swung right through that fastball at 94. It's 0-2. Rios making quick work of the right fielder. And the pitch tapped over towards first base. That's Kepler over there. He makes the play and pretty much right to him. As maybe had to take a step to his glove side. Not a hard play for the first baseman over there. He can cover a lot of ground. And that's the first out. Kyle Seeger will step in. Struck out in the first. Barrios. He's ready to go again. The O, o pitch is over for a strike. Kyle Seeger has 199 home runs in his nine years. Looking for number 100. This is not going to be a home run, but it's a base hit up the middle. How about that for Seeger, who redeems himself from the strikeout earlier in the game? A solid base hit right up the middle. And there will be a runner on first. One out here in the bottom of the fourth for Dom T. Williams, who's one for one on the day. And now Barrios delivers. 1-0 and is the count as the fastball runs inside. Williams has had a pretty good start to the season, batting over 300. That single in the second helped. Barrios checks the runner on first and now delivers way outside for ball number two. Barrios almost looked like he slipped off the mound that time. So down to the count with a runner on first. One out here in the bottom of the fourth and a scoreless game. The 2-0 just misses the inside corner and now it's 3-0. To the center fielder, the number five hitter today who has already gotten a base hit. The Twins, pretty similar in the top of the fourth inning, had runners on base but had an inning-ending double play. Here's the 3-0. And T. Williams is going to watch that one the entire way. That's over the middle for strike one. Barrios could use an inning-ending double play of his own. Here is the 3-1 pitch. And it's inside but called strike two. How about that? T. Williams thought he had a ball and was headed down to first base. Home plate umpire Nick Williams said no. And Barrios catches a break. It's a full count. Barrios again will check the runner. The payoff pitch. And it is spoiled down the left field line. T. Williams staying alive. We'll see another full count pitch. We'll see if Seager goes at first base. Doesn't have a lot of speed, but he did not go and the pitch was fouled off. So another Three ball, two strike, pitch looming for Barrios. And this one is lifted out towards shallow right field. That's Nelson Cruz out there. Runs towards center, makes the catch. And we'll throw it back into Luisa Rise for the second out. Pretty lazy fly ball out there, but you always got to wonder, the 40-year-old, can he cover as much ground as he used to? That one a little bit easier than others. For the second out here in the bottom of the fourth, next up is Austin Nola. With a single back in the first inning, batting over 400 this season. Not an everyday player, but getting the start today. And takes ball one inside. That curveball didn't go anywhere. So Seeger will still be on first base. And now Barrios, pitch number 55 coming. Rips it down the left field line, but it's foul. Evens the count. One ball, one strike. And Barrios will come set. The 1-1 pitch. Just outside, ball two. Another curveball that just can't find the strike zone. Again, we're still scoreless here in the bottom of the fourth. The 2-2 pitch, or now the 2-1, the 2-2 after the strike. Barrios looking to get out of this inning. The 2-2 pitch. Lifted out towards left field, but it's foul. And Barrios will have to... Deal another 2-2. Went with the fastball last time. 
Does he go with the curveball and the pitch? Spoil down the right field line. Re-rack him. Do it again. Another fastball from Barrios. We'll see if he changes it up. Another 2-2 pitch. Another fastball and the same result. A foul ball down the right field line. So now three foul balls here for Nola. Again, Seager still standing on first base. Infield is back. And the 2-2 once more. Down low, 3-2. A good eye there from Nola. Completely just spit on that changeup. And now Barrios really working here. Another 3-2 pitch. The runner takes off, and Nola swings right through it. A 95-mile-an-hour fastball. Barrios said, I'm going to give you my best stuff, and he blew it right by him. That is exactly what Barrios needed to do, and we are still scoreless as we head to the fifth here on Twins Radio. Top of the fifth inning here in Seattle. Marwin Gonzalez will step in. Not an everyday player for the Minnesota Twins. Two for eight this season. 0 for one in his first at-bat, getting his second opportunity here against Marco Gonzalez. Still out on the mound for Seattle. And Marwin Gonzalez swings at the first pitch. A little tapper over towards second base. D. Gordon fields, collects, throws to first. And that is a quick first out here in the top of the fifth. Only one pitch is all it took. And Gonzalez a little frustrated with himself after that one. Luis Arise. He'll step into the box. Had a single back in the third. Over 400 on the season for him. Has really done well in that leadoff spot for the Minnesota Twins this season. And the first pitch from Gonzalez. Luis Arise swings right through it for strike one. His last three games, he scored four runs. Here's the 0-1. Arise watches it all the way in the dirt for ball one. Gonzalez likes to work quickly. Already back into the windup. The 1-1 one -one now low for ball two. Luis Arise, he's not a guy who's going to strike out often. You really got to work around the edges for it. But he has a great eye. Probably, if not the best, on this Minnesota team. The 2-1 now. Low for ball three, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Right on that outside corner, but a little slider is not going to do much when Arise has that good of an eye at the plate. The 3-1 now. This one is tapped up the middle. It goes off of Gonzalez. We'll hope he's okay. But Arise beats the throw to first. He's safe. And now attention goes to Gonzalez, who looks like he was hit in his pitching arm. His left hand shaking it out, seeing if he's okay. Catcher Tom Murphy out there to talk to him. And he says, hey, go back to the dugout. I'm fine. So right now, Gonzalez stays in the in the game to pitch 57 pitches through four and a third innings of work we'll have to face byron buxton one for two had an inning ending double play in the fourth can he get one here in the fifth and the first pitch is over for a strike so it looks like gonzalez is okay still shaking out the left hand a little bit but for the moment does seem like he's okay and is able to pitch able to stay in this game up in the count on Buxton. Nothing in one. Now ripped over to third. Seager's got it to second to first. A 5-4-3 inning ending double play. And if you're Marco Gonzalez, I don't think you could be any happier. How about that? And we stay scoreless as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Two inning ending double plays. Two times in a row for the Mariners. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Barrios still out there in a scoreless game. Very much a different game from yesterday as Tom Murphy will step into the box. He is 0 for 1 today. 3 for 17 to start the season in his first five games. But he has been a really good defensive part of this team as he swings at the first pitch, taps it over to Donaldson, and Donaldson makes quick work of Murphy on the first pitch. Here in the bottom of the fifth, the first out. Well, not much more to say about Murphy. He'll head back to the dugout, but he has been really good defensively, even throughout Buxton in the second inning. And now Jake Frawley. 
A DH, 0 for 1 today. And now the first pitch from Barrios. Up high and outside for ball one. Bottom of the fifth inning, one out. Nobody on here in the scoreless fifth. And now a tapped foul to even the count. One ball, one strike. Barrios over 65 pitches here in the bottom of the fifth. But he has a scoreless game and pretty much had made good work of this Seattle offense today. This next pitch is up high. Now two and one on the count. Barrios delivers. And now three and one. The fastball getting away from him there. At risk of walking the eight hole hitter, the DH again today. And the nine hole hitter of Tyler Moore, the three one. And this one is pushed foul at the plate. Full count. Rios is gone with the changeup. See if he comes back with a fastball on 3-2. And he does. Blows it right by him again. This time the two-seamer ran away from Frawley. And he gets his fifth strikeout of the day. Not as much speed on that fastball. But the movement is what absolutely destroys left-handed hitters. And Barrios. Two outs here in the fifth. We'll face the nine-hole hitter in Dylan Moore. I said Tyler Moore earlier. Pardon me. And the first pitch to him is up and away for ball one. Moore 0 for 1 on the day, but batting over 400 on the season in his couple at-bats. The pitch high and tight just misses the strike zone. Now 2-0. and Barrios takes his hat off for that one. Where did that one miss? Rios now working through the second time in this lineup. Would love to get out of here in the fifth. And now blows a fastball by Moore. Two balls and a strike. If he can push back the top of the lineup until the sixth, that would be excellent work here for Barrios. This one tapped up the right field line but foul. And the count is even. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch number 74 now coming from Barrios and the pitch way outside not really close as D Gordon waits on deck three and two is the count with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth in a scoreless ball game the payoff lifted into the seats down the right field line foul so more spoils it away we'll get to redo it again another three two coming Barrios in the windup and the pitch Lifted high in the air out towards right field. Also, Cruz has been busy. Camps under it. And that's a can of corn. Makes the catch. And we head to the sixth. Still scoreless. Here with the Twins coming up. Nelson, Cruz, Miguel Sano, and Mitch Garver. Big bats. But we're still scoreless here in Seattle on your home for Twins baseball. So we will simulate the rest of this game as we are still scoreless. Oh, there's a home run from Marwin Gonzalez. Oh, never mind. Seattle got it back. But I hope you guys are enjoying these broadcasts. I think today was really good, actually. I was really calm. Um, you know, I was I was focused on the game. I, I think it was a lot more delivered well, I guess. I don't really know exactly the terminology for that. But I think it was a good day. Looks like the Twins are going to lose here, though, as they, uh, they uh, gave up a couple of home runs there. Um, in the end, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it was probably my best broadcast. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to keep doing it, and I appreciate your feedback. Okay, see you next time.